Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can utilize Pinterest for affiliate marketing. I'm going to talk about how you can tag certain items and why is Pinterest good for us. First of all, everybody knows that Pinterest has a lot of traffic. It's a really powerful platform and not only does it have like a lot of traffic, people use it as a visual search engine which results in purchase because this is what's happening. You know, people are just like, okay, I want to buy myself like Christmas decorations. This is popular right now. So they go over to Pinterest to get some ideas. Same goes with fashion, same goes with food, fitness, whatever, you name it. And then they use Pinterest search engine to just look for some inspirations. And of course, they expect to find certain links there. And those links, of course, are people's links, yours, mine, affiliate links and you know what happens they click on the link they make a purchase you get the commission now why is pinterest good for this well it just became what it is it's just like a modern mall and demographics are really interesting on pinterest so if you are like figuring out what kind of niche you want to go on pinterest well just use this info it's really good and also pinterest trends has really been useful to me. You can just go over and you can search through these keywords and you can see, for example, as you can see, Christmas decor ideas is really popular because we're close to Christmas. And of course, you see how it's Kai Rockets. But of course, you can just type it in and you can see for any niche out there. Now, I do like to use impact.com in order to get myself affiliate products or just to partner up with a lot of companies. They've got a lot of partners and they've just got a lot of pictures for you. So this means that you don't even have to create the content yourself. That is good. Now, I do want to show you one example from this girl. As you can see, she's into food, keto diet, niche, whatever it is. It doesn't matter to us right now, but you can see that she's got a lot of views. So that's like 10 million plus monthly views. And of course, there is a link in her bio, but this is leading to her blog. And of course, when you click on that link, you are led to her blog, right? But here's the thing. I just use this tool, which is called Worth of Web. And when you go over to that website, you can just get a lot of info. I can, for example, just type in stylishcravings.com. And then what I'll get, I'll get all the info about that website. You can see like the estimated net worth. But this is not something that I'm interested in. I'm interested in this estimated visits per month. As you can see, it is 130,000, all right, per month. Now, of course, it's not like everything like came from Pinterest, but you can like suppose that there's like 50% coming from Pinterest to her blog. And of course, she has newsletter. And of course, she is doing affiliate marketing as well. So if only 60,000 people come from Pinterest, and if only 1% of those visitors actually make a purchase through her links, I'm just going to multiply this by 0 0.01. That's 600 customers. And let's say that she makes $5 per each one of those commissions times five. Well, that's $3,000 per month just from visitors from Pinterest. You know, now you can see how powerful this is. So make yourself an account on Pinterest. Maybe you already have some and then visit impact.com. Now, of course, you don't have to use Impact. I'm not affiliating for them or just whatever. I just love them. You can, of course, use Amazon. You can use Digistore24. You can use ClickBank. You can use ShareSale. Whatever kind of affiliate marketing you want to go with, the process is going to be the same. I'll just go with my Impact.com account. So if I go over to these brands and I click on Find Brands, Firstly, they will give you all of these. But since I know the info about demographics on Pinterest, I can go over to these categories. And for example, I like to go with apparel, shoes and accessories. As you can see, 28 rows. Now you just have to choose something that you think is going to work. Of course, you can see like these commissions. You can see the sales. What can you expect? So for example, I can go with some kind of these beauty products and just click on apply. Now, all that we have to do is we have to make those pins, but you have to do it consistently, all right? This is not like a get rich quick scheme and money is just gonna pour all the way without you like actually making an effort. You have to work hard for it. What I also like to use is canva.com. It has a lot of these templates for Pinterest pins, but you can, of course, just choose like to create a blank Pinterest pin 
and then you can search through these templates, for example, with some beauty products, let's say. So let me just take something. Let's say that I wanted to choose this. I'm just going to move this over. I'm going to delete this. I don't need a website. I can just increase the size of it. Of course, you just put the name here and edit this in a way that you want, of course. Once it's done, click on the share, click on download here. You can just choose PNG, it's okay. And then go over to your Pinterest profile, click on create and create a pin. Now you just have to upload that image in there. Now we have to add a title and that's gonna be like the name of your product. I'm just gonna go with some generic names now. Detail description of your product as well. And this is the place for keywords. This is gonna help more people get to your pins more often. All right, and this is actually the most important part. This is the link. And since Pinterest doesn't allow you to just put a link to your product directly, you can use a landing page of some sort, or you can just use Linktree. Linktree is a free tool. You don't have to pay for it, which will just hold all of your links, just like in the picture here. So let me just go to my own. What Linktree allows you to do is exactly this. You can add a link to whatever place you want. As, as you can see, I'm just selling my keto cookbook, all right? And this is how it's going to look like on people's phones. So they will go over to my Linktree, and when they click on this, they will be redirected in order to make a purchase on that product that I'm affiliating for. So from my Pinterest pin, they will move over to my link tree. And from here, they go over to the sales page. So that's simple. And this link you will place here. You will choose a board tag, of course, make a lot of tags because all of those will help you get more reach, get more people to see your pin. And of course, do not forget to put your link in the bio on your Pinterest profile as well, because that's one more place, just like that girl did with her blog. Just like she did it with this, you are going to just place your link tree. So she's using her blog as a landing, like a bridge page, let's say it like that. And you're just going to use link tree. You know, it's easy to do so. And I told you, it's free. You don't have to pay for it. And now all that is left for you to do is to use Pinterest trends, choose yourself a niche and be consistent with it. And of course, I told you consistency and dedication, because there's going to be a lot of people who are going to make pins about hand creams. And there's, of course, a lot of people who want to make a purchase. So you have to stand out. And in order to do that, well, you just have to be a regular. For example, at least one pin per day is going to be OK, even if you are a beginner. One more thing. Just take a look what other people are doing and try to recreate these. All right. That's the whole point. And Linktree is your friend. So wish you good luck and happy selling.